The best way to review the mods is to review the original game first. So WWE Smackdown vs Raw 2011 is a fantastic game. First off the roster is big, even huge for a PSP game, having around 70 superstars in divas. Road to WrestleMania has 5 new stories to tell and the game even has multiplayer. Though since most probably you are playing this game on a phone, not a PSP, you can set up the PPS SPP emulator to play online with a friend. And on PSP, well the servers are dead anyway for the original game, but you can still play ad hoc if you have a PSP. And if you have an Android phone, well you can set up your emulator to play with a friend, as I said. The controls in 2011 are the best out of all of the WWE games for the PSP. But the big downside is still that the game lacks commentary. The matches are just mainly music, no commentary. I wish someone would mod the game to add commentary. I know it's a gigantic work and not really worth the hassle, but it will make the game a hundred times better. The commentary will add a lot of flavor to the game, but even without commentary, the game is still very solid. As for game modes, you have the Road to WrestleMania, which gets you to play through the stories of 6 characters in the game. You can even create your own stories from a handful of presets, scenarios and characters. And since the mods consist of updating the roster, having this game mode in the original game opens up endless possibilities with the modded game. I mean, it's the fuel that keeps the game alive. By updating the roster on a yearly basis, you can create your own stories with every year. You also get a character creator tool, so that you can make your own character and fight with all the updated wrestlers. And with the story creator you can put the wrestlers into any situation and any story you want. You can even control who do you want to fall in love with whom in the story creator. It's a lot of fun, especially with imagination. You also get a huge amount of match types, including championship scramble, mixed tag where a girl and a guy take on another girl and a guy, hot tag, ladder, there are so many of them, I, I can't list them. Basically, for the year 2011, the game had so many game modes, it was like, you name it, the game most probably got it. And I have to say that the mods are impressive. I mean, not only that you get updated rosters, which consist on new characters and updated character looks, but you also get new entrances, new spectators, new banners, new menus and even new music. Character models look incredible for a PSP, having very distinct features and for a PSP they are pretty detailed. The mods are really worked and I appreciate that people kept their interest for the WWE games for the PSP. An active modding community is a sign of love for a game. And it shows how good the PSP games were. I mean, nothing better came on Android that will make people play that game instead of the good old WWE PSP games. As a conclusion, the mods are awesome. I think, to this day, WWE 2011 is the most modded PSP game of them all. I hope that the modding community for this game will continue bringing new content to the people. You are doing a great job and you're awesome. Thank you modders for keeping this game alive. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.